Hello, I'm Kain from the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you uh, about polymorphism and visual functions in C++. So, um, just a reminder: if you've not subscribed, subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when I make new lessons. So, one thing about polymorphism is you need to understand what inheritance means for you to be able to understand polymorphism. So, inheritance simply means we have an object or a class. And we have a subclass that inherits from this main class. The best way to get it is to illustrate it using, for instance, an organization, a very big organization, that have several employees. Now, among the employees, there may be drivers, right? So they also may be doctors who are also employees of this company. So if you have a driver, a driver, we can say is an employee, and then we can say is a subclass of an employee. The reason is because a driver inherits attributes of an employee. For instance, employee have a name and a salary. A driver have a name and a salary. And the same thing goes with a doctor. A doctor is an employee and has a name and a salary. So the, the easiest way to get it clear is to just code it. So if you are using Eclipse, uh, go ahead to open Eclipse and just start a new, a new project. And then let's create employee class. We create a driver class and create a doctor class and see how all this ties together. So the first thing we are going to do is to create an employee class. So class employee. <clears throat> so open and close. And I'm going to create the next employee class <clears throat> driver. To inherit from an, an employee class, you simply say public employee. So we've created a driver class and let's create a doctor class. A doctor or physician, whatever the case, public employee, because we, are, we wanted to inherit from a employee, an employee. So in this employee class, let's focus on trying to understand uh, polymorphism and visual, fun and visual functions. So let's not make it complicated. So for an employee, we have, for instance, we can have get info, right? So get info is a function that will re uh, return, I am an employee. So let's say public, uh, public. So uh, 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 void get info, right? So, so this function, is going to simply display on the output, I am an employee of the company, <clears throat> right? So this is fine. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to also uh, write these functions for the other two. So I'm going to copy and paste it in here and I'm going to paste it for the doctor as well right good so one thing you can see immediately is that the three the three objects the employee class the three classes have the same function the same name now when I come to the driver class it say it will say I am a driver of the company and this is to say I am a, a doctor of the company or in the company. So the confusion now is when we create object of employee and we say employee.getInfo, it will of course call the get info from the employee. Now let's see what happens in this case. Let's start by creating uh, a new uh, employee and a new driver and a new doctor. So let's say driver DRV is equal to a driver DRV and then we say doctor DOC, right? So one thing I'm going to also write is a second function here that says let me just write one more function in here that says uh, this 
this get info let me change this one to get specialty the driver okay get vehicle so I just want to make it a bit clearer. So doctor get a uh, specialty. All right. So I'm a doctor. Instead of saying I'm a doctor, I'm a an uh, an orthopedic surgeon. Let me say orthopedic surgeon. That's uh, for the doctor. And for the driver, it will say I am a heavy. I'm a truck driver. Okay, I'm a truck driver. <clears throat> so when I create a new driver and also I create a new doctor, now I'm also going to create, but before I do that, let me just print uh, something on the screen. I'll just call this function drv dot uh, get get info let's say drv dot get vehicle and we have doc dot get uh specialty so let's run this to see what happens then we continue uh from there so i'm going to first i'm going to save everything and i'm going to right click and just say run us and run us application so Yes, proceed. Oh no, this is not right. So I'm going to first clean up this, this. Clean. Good. And then I'm going to build all. Mm. Okay, sorry. I'm going to first clean. Okay. And then I'm going to run. It doesn't run. So I'm going to first clean. Uh, build targets, rebuild. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run. Okay, this is okay. Just give a second. Let's try to solve this problem. So, um, building this project, um, build project. And it's giving us an error. Let's see if we can get what this error is. Okay, so we have an error here drv.getVehicle. Let's see. The error is saying that get vehicle is private within the context. Let's see. Okay, so it's private, so let's just make it public. All right, so in the same way for get specialty, let's make it public. All right, so I'm um, going to save. I'm going to build project, everything built fine. I'm going to run it, run as uh, application. So now you can see it, the, the, this, the output is uh, what is happening. I want to just go ahead to run again and see. All right, so in the first line, it prints driver, the DRV, and this get vehicle prints the, the it's always hiding the outputs. Why? We get it. Outputs. Restore. Okay, so let's let's leave the output at this place. So the first line that says DRV dot get vehicle, it prints I'm a truck driver. Get specialty says I am an orthopedic surgeon, right? So now how do we now use the uh the fact that drivers are also employees and doctors are also uh, employees as well. So I'm going to say in this line, drv dot get info. So in this in this case, I'm calling the get info for this now coming from the the employee class because that is from the super class. In the same way, if I say doc dot get info and then if I go ahead to run this let's see what happens so it prints I'm an employee of the company and I'm a truck driver 
So now this is this is what polymorphism is. So we have this is not actually polymorphism; it's just inheritance. So what we now want to do is we want to use only one function, which is get info. Instead of using get vehicle, we have get specialty. We want to use get info here. Uh, let's say get info, and we also have get info. Right? Good. So now we have three of this get info. If we run this code, let's see what happens. You'll see that we have an error. So the error is that um, get vehicle uh, could not be resolved because it doesn't exist anymore. So we only have get info. And now I'm calling the driver get info and the doctors get info. And now we are not able to use the get info in the main class. So that is a problem we are going to resolve using virtual functions. So for, for instance, we have, we've succeeded in getting across the polymorphism. So if I run this, it's going to run perfectly. But we can be sure that this is not polymorphic because we are using the functions in the subclasses, right? So we've achieved um, uh, polymorphism in terms of giving the same name to the same uh, to different classes, but then how do we uh, go ahead to also use the same function in the employee class, and then uh, also use the same function for the driver and the doctor class? Maybe I'm going to clarify this in the next uh, video. Uh, so let's meet in the next video to clarify this. Meanwhile, take some time to get your head around this, uh, write this code and run it and make sure you understand how it works.